Chris Conzanis. And I'm Kai Higdon, and we are from the Department of Plastic Surgery at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. We're here to discuss our paper, Cosmetic Liposuction, Preoperative Risk Factors, Major Complication Rates, and Safety of Combined Procedures, which will be published in the upcoming June issue of the Aesthetic Surgery Journal. In our study, we reviewed a large insurance database of patients undergoing aesthetic surgery. Our goals were to define procedures commonly combined with liposuction and to determine the incidence and risk factors for major postoperative complications following liposuction. Over a five-year period, we identified 31,010 liposuction procedures, of which only approximately one-third were performed as a solitary liposuction procedure. Liposuction performed as a solitary procedure had a low overall complication rate of 0.7%, but when other procedures were combined with liposuction, the overall complication rate was increased to 3.5%. The most common major complications were hematoma, infection, pulmonary dysfunction, and venous thromboembolism, but the rates were extremely low. On logistic regression analysis, independent predictors for major complications included combined procedures, procedures performed in hospitals as opposed to outpatient facilities, as well as age and body mass index. So in conclusion, our analysis has shown that liposuction is safe with a very low incidence of major complications in the hands of trained plastic surgeons. Interestingly, hematomas decreased when liposuction was combined with other single cosmetic procedures compared to cosmetic procedures performed alone. An additional research is needed to further understand the effect of liposuction on hematoma rates when used as an adjunct to other cosmetic procedures. Awareness of the major complications and the associated risk factors for this commonly performed procedure will provide considerable support to the plastic surgeon in the preoperative setting as it will allow for improved patient education as well as improved operative planning to enhance patient safety. Thank you. Thank you.